Hey there, Eartha here, and in this video, I just want to go over some really quick tips for using Instagram as a newbie because this is very new to me as I've had Instagram accounts, but I've never used them in terms of promotion and branding and trying to sell products. So these are my tips from just what I've learned so far and things that I've read about. Uh, what we're looking at is uh, one of my Instagram accounts is called uh, the avocado junkie. So if you haven't guessed, avocados is the niche for this. I have a avocado store at avocadojunkie.com. And as you can see, I'm just promoting any type of product pretty much that is avocado related. So you may be wondering why avocados? Well, for one, I do love avocados. It isn't something I just randomly made up in my head to start doing. Um, and two, you would be actually amazed at how many avocado accounts actually exist on Instagram. There are people that are fans of avocados among other niches. There's so many niches on Instagram that you would probably be really surprised about. Um, so I created this account, I think sometime last month, as you can see, I, I have about over a little over a hundred followers. I'm following a little over a hundred people. And this is what I've learned about following before I jump into anything else. You will, you know, when I started, I uh, pretty much, I followed a lot of avocado related accounts. It seemed logical. And then uh, I started following a lot of people that were just uh, into health food, uh, cooking healthy uh, dietitians, vegans, all types of people uh, that love uh, healthy food. Um, and some of them, a lot of them followed me back and a lot of them, because I interact with them, I engage with their accounts, they engage with mine, they leave comments, uh, they'll like my photos every time I post them up. And that's one thing I'm learning is that uh, you really do need to engage with your followers, be genuine, and then they will not unfollow you. Uh, there are a lot of accounts that will follow me and then if I follow them back they unfollow and you know that's uh, they're using automated software to do that so now um, I've picked up on that and if I feel like the person that's just followed me uh, is going to do that I just don't even bother following back that's just me um, and in terms of content as you can see here I do have some products uh, mixed in with a lot of the food photos and so I don't uh, use avocados every day or eat avocados every day so there's no way I could come up with all of these food pictures so what I do for that is I use a website called Unsplash and these are free images that you can use uh, for anything you want pretty much and they don't require uh, giving credit but you can if you want to and so what i do is i'll find avocado food pictures and i will use those sometimes for my content another thing that i do is i will find uh, avocado facts and then i'll create an image like this and i do this in photoshop but you you can use uh, something like canva to do the same thing so this is a, a fact that i just posted today and so that helps a lot with content. People seem to like it. Another thing that's important are these hashtags. So if you see here, I have, I'm using these hashtags. And the way I came up with those is I use an app on my phone called Lee Tags. And uh, what this app does, it helps to generate the most popular hashtags for whatever the keyword is that you're uh, targeting, whatever your niche is. And you're able to save these tags because you know chances are you're going to be using them over and over again so the app allows you to save those tags so that way when you go back in you can just copy and paste and then copy and paste it into uh, your photo so for instance like this uh, the app also will put these uh, little dot separators there and you can set it to uh, have two dots or 10 dots. I think it goes up to 15. As you can see here, I have a little more. And so when you paste in from the app, it automatically inserts those uh, dots or periods and then your hashtags. 
So it's a really awesome app. I, I recommend that for your hashtags. It does help me get more likes and definitely attract uh, more followers that way. Um, in terms of promoting the products, as you can see, I, I don't overdo it. I kind of, you know, do my regular posts and then I'll post a, an actual product like this. And what I find is helpful are two things. For one, if you read this description, I say uh, you can get yours. The link in, is in the bio and then I tag my account. So it makes it easier for people to get right to my bio and click on the store link. I sometimes I also create um, short URLs specifically for the product. And this helps a lot because I have an Instagram page that is connected, uh, sorry, Facebook page that's connected to my Instagram account. And so, for example, you see I, I share videos and the products that I promote or anything that I promote from or send from Instagram, I can have it send directly to my Facebook page. And so the reason if you read this description here that I have on my Instagram, I say, uh, you know, how cute are these socks? Tag an avocado lover. And then I say, grab a pair of your own at and I tag my account or avocadojunkie.com. And the reason I, I add both is because when it posts to the page, now you can see uh, the avocadojunkie.com is now linked. And I have gotten a lot of Facebook visitors this way, well, where they'll actually click on this link. And then uh, I've made one sale so far and uh, they do click around the store and check out other products. And um, I've had some come from Instagram and I've had some people come from Facebook. So having them connected makes it a lot easier. So like I said, when you're uh, putting in the description for the product, just uh, tag your Instagram account and place in your URL to the product or to your store. And then it makes it super easy for people to uh, get to your store a lot faster. Another thing that I do for content is I use the repost app. As you can see here, I reposted this picture with permission. Um, some accounts, I don't think they'll mind too much as long as you're giving them credit. And the repost app will actually put in the uh, name here at the bottom or wherever you want it. Sometimes uh, it could be in the upper right or left hand corner. Uh, and then I also tag the person in my description, the account in my description here so that they uh, can get further credit that way. So repost app is another way to post good content. So uh, that's pretty much uh, what I've learned so far. Uh, it's important to interact with your followers. Uh, it's important to use the correct hashtags. Oh, and another thing, timing, the time of day that you post. Um, you will come across uh, different recommendations for this. What I'm finding is posting several times throughout the day helps. I'm usually posting around like 10 o'clock, then 12 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the evening, and then another post uh, late into the evening around 10 or 11 p.m. Uh, you can uh, post whenever you want. I don't think there's a right or wrong way. There have been studies done, of course, of the best times to post. And I also recommend posting humor, uh, humor things that are funny. For example, uh, this one picture here, it says, I said you're the good kind of fat. And people seem to love it, have seemed to love it. I've gotten 39 likes on it. And, uh, lots of com you know uh, some comments there there was another photo that i posted oh i think it was this one this one <laughs> i just uh, looked up when uh was national avocado day and i made a graphic for it and it ended up with 59 likes and three comments people uh, someone tagged someone and then that person replied and so you just, you know, you just never know what people <laughs> will respond to. So try to throw in a little bit of everything, uh, depending on your niche. If there's some humor you can throw in or some little facts or things like that, it will help a lot. So, um, that's pretty much it. I know, you know, you, whatever your niche is, if you're going to use Instagram, uh, it's a, a 
pretty much a slow process so far. It does take some effort. You do have to post quite often. I probably wouldn't recommend buying followers or using apps that uh, get you followers and likes because as far as I know, Instagram frowns upon that and they uh, will likely ban your account. So just try to keep things as, things as natural as possible. There are There's software that will uh, post your post for you. I think that's probably okay uh, to post your stuff at specific times. Uh, Tailwind is one, Buffer is one. Uh, those you can check out. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you uh, have any tips of your own, feel free to uh, post them uh, on the comments of my blog and uh, at earththehaines.com. I'll link that below as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and I will keep creating videos about uh, what else I learned about using Instagram. Uh, thank you so much for watching and talk soon.